Today, learn how you can install WordPress manually on your cPanel web server. Inside of your cPanel account, scroll to the database section. Click the MySQL databases icon. In the new database field, enter a name for the database. Go back and scroll down to add a new user field, enter a username for the database. Then add a password for the database and confirm it. Go back and scroll all the way down to add the user to the database that was just created. Make sure the Grant All Privileges checkbox is checked, then click on Make Changes. The next step is to open a new tab and download WordPress from WordPress.org. Click the Get WordPress button. On this page, click the Download button. The WordPress zip file will be downloaded to your computer. The next step is to upload the WordPress files to your cPanel account. To do this, go back into cPanel and scroll down to the File section. Click the File Manager icon. In the left sidebar box, scroll down and click the Public HTML folder. Then click the Upload icon. Click Select File button and locate the WordPress zip file that was downloaded. The WordPress files will be uploaded to your server. Once upload is complete, click to go back. Now find the WordPress zip file, click on it. Next, at the top here click on the Extract button. Once complete, you can close it. The extracted zip file is a folder called WordPress. You can rename this folder to anything you want to. For example, I can right click on the folder and rename it to blog instead of WordPress. The final step is to run the WordPress installation. To do this, open a new web browser tab and navigate to your WordPress install file. If you see a 404 error or other file or directory not found error, just make sure that you entered in the correct URL to your WordPress install file in your web browser. Now select the language of your choice and click the continue button. In the next page, enter the database name, username and password. I recommend copying and pasting from your cPanel database information that was created. The password does not need the prefix, just enter the password in without the prefix. Now you will see the next page, click the run installation button. You are almost done, now enter in the site details such as site title and a new administrator username and password. Click the install button and WordPress will finally be installed. Now you can view your new WordPress website or log into the admin dashboard here. That is all there is to it. Installing WordPress in cPanel is a fairly simple process that can be completed in a few minutes. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. If you need cPanel hosting, then check out my recommendations for top web hosting providers. See details below. Thanks so much for viewing and happy blogging.